humans, I'm Mr. King. Annyeong, everyone. Okay, so now we are going to this Majun 2021, Paper 63. Alright, okay, let's go to Q1. See, first one, name the items of the apparatus label A. See, A it is metal spoon. Okay, how metal spoon is the incorrect answer. Okay, remember, okay, do not put metal spoon. It has to be spatula. And then B, it is tripod stand. Okay, so suggest why the mixture was heated in step 2. Why? Yeah, because as the temperature increases, it will eventually increase the rate of reaction. Yeah, so that the solid will get dissolved faster. And then name the apparatus that can be used to heat the mixture. Uh, it is Lighter, okay, huh? lighter is this incorrect answer, okay, it has to be Bunsen burner, okay, <laughs> okay, next one, okay, name the reactant which was in excess and explain your answer, so, which one will be in excess, you see, the one, you see, the one that's left over, you see, is the unreacted solid, so which one is the solid? Copper 2 oxide, isn't it? Okay, and acid is, is in the form of liquid. So you see, solid is the one that's in excess. So from here, we know answer is uh, cobalt 2 oxide. Okay, why? Okay, because it is the solid left and the end of reaction. Okay, so next one, give me this. Okay, ha, huh? name the process used to remove the unreacted solid. It has to be filtration. And then describe how crystals of this hydrated cobalt 2 sulfate could be made from the solution. Okay, so what can we do to the solution okay, to turn it into crystal? Okay, so first we have to heat the filtrate until crystallization point. And then we leave the solution to cool and evaporate. And eventually they will form crystal that's it okay hmm. and then next one see give me this experiment okay ha. investigate the rate at which hydrogen gas was made when magnesium reacts with acid so <clears throat> let's look at this so volumes of acid so what is the volumes of acid used See, it's mentioned here for acid is 25 cm cube. Okay, and then experiment, see the rest of the experiment, okay, they repeated using different volumes of uh, water. Okay, so from here, 25. And then volumes of distilled water, same thing, see everything given here. Okay, 30, 20, 10, 5, and nothing. Okay. <clears throat> so, and then volumes of gas collected. So, this one we know it is 10, 19, 38, 61, and this it would be 95. That's it. Okay, one more thing remember when it comes into tabulations of data. Uh, yeah, you have to make sure that okay, all the readings, okay, that, I mean, they have the same decimal place. Okay. Hmm. And then eventually, you okay, can plot the graph. So this is, uh, this is how it looks like. See, followed by a smooth curve. Okay, you have to join all the spot. Okay, and this is the curve that you will obtain. 
and then extrapolate or extend the line on your graph and deduce the volumes of gas that would be collected in 30 seconds. Okay, so which means, okay, you continue. Okay, so in 30 seconds, if 35 cm cubes was added, so you extend until 35. Okay, so follow the patterns of the graph. So you follow which eventually, ah, it looks something like this. Okay, just follow, okay. So based on what I obtained here, it is around uh, 8. This is 10. Okay. Ah, so over here, 8 cm cube. Okay, hmm. and then next one. Okay, use this equation to calculate the rate of pressure in experiment 3, okay? So, see, volumes of gas collector divide the time taken. Okay, so, uh, experiment 3, what is the volumes of gas collector? It is 38. Time taken it is 30 seconds. Okay, uh, so which eventually, okay? So, 38 cm cube divided by 30 seconds. So 38 divided by 30, you get 1.27 with a unit cm cube per second. Okay, and then which one had the highest rate of reaction? So which one? From here we know that it has to be 5, isn't it? Because it produced the highest volumes of gas. Hmm, so I answer is 5. So what is the advantage of using pipette instead of measuring cylinder? Okay, remember, pipette it is always more accurate okay and then what is the disadvantage yeah pipette it is slower okay it takes time to use okay take more time slower okay then name another items okay that can be used to collect and measure the volume of gas remember see there are two apparatus can be used to collect and measure the gas one it is the measure cylinder, okay, through water displacement. Another we can use gas string. All right. Hmm. Okay. Then followed by next one. Okay. Explain the advantage of using these types of conical flasks. Okay. So what's the advantage? So in this case, isn't it? Okay. Ha. Huh. In this case, we do not need to open and close the bump to add reactants anymore. Okay, ha. so ha. we do not have to remove the bump. Okay, so which eventually ha. it helps to ensure no gas escape okay ha, because this experiment is about the collections of gas what so it is very important for us to ensure can okay, no any single gas will escape from the flask if not it will eventually affect the result okay so next one okay you see identifications of salt and gases so given here uh chromium tree chloride so first one added with sodium hydroxide, see that's chromium, so the first observation, okay, green precipitate is formed and uh, in excess it dissolves in excess to form dark green solution. Okay, and then next one you see it's tested with aqueous ammonia. See, if you test chromium with aqueous ammonia, remember the color of the precipitate it has to be gray green. Okay, ha, huh? gray green precipitate is formed and remains. Insoluble in excess. Okay, so next one. See, ha, huh? added with silver. Remember, okay, whenever you see the word silver solution, 
100% they are testing for the presence of halide ions. So you see, is there any halide? That's chloride, isn't it? So it forms silver chloride with the observations of white precipitate is formed. Okay, and the next one, you see, it's tested with barium. Same thing. Whenever you see the word barium, 100% they are testing for sulfate. See, is there any sulfate ions here? No, there is no sulfate. So answer, no reaction or no change. Okay, either one will do, which means nothing will happen at all. All right, okay, then, see, given with this table, see, flame test, lilac, indicates the presence of potassium. Okay, then added with acid, okay, the gas produced turns lime, water, milky, see, it is added with acid and it produces carbon dioxide gas. So it indicates the presence of carbonate ions. And then, see, when it is tested with silver, no visible change, see, silver is used to test for halide. No visible change which means there is no halide ions. So what is the gas form in test 2? Okay, so it is carbon dioxide gas. Okay, and what is solid J? Potassium carbonate. That's it. Okay, super easy. Alright, okay, then next one. Hmm, give me this. The energy given now when different liquids alcohol are burns can be compared using the apparatus shown. You see? Uh, this diagram is about heating soft water in test tube. So describe how the apparatus can be used to compare the amounts of energy given out okay, by three different liquid alcohol ethanol, propano, and butano. Your answer should include how the result can be used to determine okay, which field give out the most energy. So you see from here, so you see how do we know? We can always compare the difference in temperature, okay, huh? or the time taken okay, uh, for the temperature to rise to a certain temperature. Okay, so What's the constant variables over here? We need to use the same volumes of water and also the same volumes of or mass of alcohol. The very first, okay, hmm, my example, okay, huh? prepare 10 cm cubes of water, okay, in respective test tube using iPad. Yeah, you need to name the apparatus used. Alright, okay, then measure the initial temperatures of water using thermometer. Alright. Okay, and then next step, okay, so we have to mention that we heat the water using the, uh, using the liquid alcohol. So, okay, heat the water using three different liquid alcohol, which are ethanol. Propano and butanol respectively. So which means we are carrying out all these three experiments at the same time. Okay, then what we can do is okay, like okay, we hit maybe okay, we mentioned case okay, like hit for maybe like five minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, okay, we measure okay, measure the final temperatures of water. Alright, okay, then we calculate the temperature rise. 
Okay, so which one increase the most? Okay, so which is like in this five minutes, so which one increase the most? We know that the one that increase the most in temperature give out the most energy. So this is our conclusion. So this is the general conclusion. Okay, so uh, highest rise in temperature okay, uh, give out most energy. That's it. Yes, yeah, so this is how you can carry out this experiment. Alright, so hope that this is helpful for you guys. If not, you guys can always ask questions by commenting below. Alright, okay, then that's all for this. Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.